Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are diving back into the DJ world with an important update. The slogan for this video is I was wrong about Pioneer, partially. And trust me, this is not a clickbait, because it's quite the opposite. I'm always committed to being honest with you all and if I make a mistake or miss something that comes to light later, I believe that it's a good practice to share it with you. In one of my recent videos about Pioneer Record Box 7, I was pretty upset with Pioneer. You see, I own two controllers that are supposed to unlock Record Box, the Rev 5 and this XP2. Like most people, I went to the Record Box website, downloaded the software and installed it. But a month later, Record Box told me that I could no longer use the software for free and I had to pay. Now, according to Pioneer's own website, my devices are officially supported and should unlock Record Box. But in reality, Record Box was locked after a month. After another month of searching for a solution, even reaching out to local representatives who had no clue, I finally found a workaround that might help you as well. Since I always aim to be fair, I'm here to admit that I was wrong about Record Box partially. Pioneer still deserves some blame or hate simply because they push users toward paid options. But here's the real deal for you. First, make sure you own one of the officially supported unlock devices. I've listed them in the video description below. Then follow these steps. Open Rekordbox website. Navigate to the Plans tab. Here is the crucial step that many DJs miss. On the right side of the Plans page, there is an option to Add Cloud. This is the key. Slide it to the left because, let's be honest, most of us don't need it. Watch as the pricing changes dramatically. If you scroll down, you will even find a plan with $0 per month. Download this version. And instead of seeing the trial version, when you plug in your Pioneer controller, you will see the performance layout is active. And the software indicates the free version. As I've promised, whenever I discover something hidden or came across a solution that benefits you, I will share it, even if it means admitting I was wrong. But while I'm on the topic, I've encountered more issues with Rekordbox that you should be aware of. I'm a Windows user, and frankly, I don't care if these issues don't exist on Mac. What matters to me is that on my PC and for my use case, there is a problem. After installing Rekordbox on a new machine, I face frequent crashes, something many other DJs have reported as well. Despite trying nearly everything, nothing seemed to work. A DJ friend of mine who works on a big ferries shared his frustration with me, saying, day after day, messing with record box, the mess just gets bigger and bigger. And now I totally get it. On the same PC, I run Virtual DJ, Tractor, Serato, without any issues. The only buggy software is record box, which is a real shame because to me it is the most modern, stylish and well-designed interface out there. <laughs> Yet it's also the most problematic one. Serato still demands a ton of PC resources. Tractor hasn't introduced anything groundbreaking recently. And while Virtual DJ is awesome, its interface could use some design improvements. Plus, to make it work perfectly, you often have to tweak settings like colors, bit lock, crossfader, curve, and more. There's a lot of debate about DJ softwares. And honestly, it's kind of pointless because the best software is whatever suits you. In few years, DJ software might even become an obsolete topic, as more and more people move towards standalone options like those from Pioneer and Denon players. Just imagine if Tractor released a standalone player or a controller with integrated Tractor OS. I'd be the first in line to buy it. The same goes for Rain. If they made a 12 standalone with a big screen and proper hot cues, I'd buy it immediately and never look back at using Mac or Windows for DJing. But I digress a little bit. So back to the main point. You can now use Pioneer's Record Box software for free if you own one of their supported unlock devices and if you don't encounter the crash issues like I did. That's all for today. From me, Nico, stay well and keep mixing awesome dance music. Peace.